Hello, investors and traders, and welcome to the Weekly Market Report. I'm A.J. Monty, and this is the Diamonds. It's the Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, ticker symbol DIA. And if you're a regular follower of this Weekly Market Report, you'll know I keep the lines on the chart so you can see how the forecast worked out. And last week, I said we would go up to test this gap fill resistance area and then I drew this downward line right here which is a two-week forecast ending on June 17th and you can see that we tested that gap fill resistance pulled right back and now we're on our way lower take a look downstairs at these oscillators and you'll see the stochastics is still moving lower and we have a cross of that momentum line right there on the CCI as I magnify that you can see the cross now, for the most part, two to four days is what we expect to see to the downside because that's usually what you see when that momentum line or zero line is crossed. If it crossed to the upside, we usually see two to four days of upside movement, but the momentum is still going lower, and I'm going to leave that forecast on the Dow just like that with a downside target of 337.89. Let's hop right to the spiders. This is the S&P 500 ETF, ticker symbol SPY. Look at my lines from last week. I drew this right there. I said I was not madly bullish. I would said I was mildly bullish and that we would go up and set a new high. That's exactly what we did. And I was referring back to this high. You can see the end of the line moves right to that point. And yesterday, let me zoom in just a little bit more right there. We hit that. And now we have what's called a hanging man on lower volume. Well, what does that mean? Well, hanging man is the second most bearish candle alongside of what's called a shooting star. And so I do believe we're going to start to pull back next week. So I'm just going to draw this line just like that going out about five days in this angle, mimicking what we saw back here. You'll notice that when the markets rally and pull back, they generally do so in similar angles. So my downside target for SPY is going to be 421.08. Notice the CCI down here is starting to hinge. See, it was in an upward direction just a couple of days ago. Now we have that little angle here known as a hinge. Again, on lower volume, that's considered to be bearish. For the short term and we have a gap still down below the market right around 410 so that's the spiders if we look at the vix this is the volatility index interestingly enough the vix is following my forecast lines as well i went out and i projected a longer term target on the vix up here around 22 to 23. we did pull back as i expected would tested this support level and look at that little candle right there as i magnify that that's known as a hammer pattern a hammer pattern is when you have a shadow that's one and a half to two times the length of that body. And if you look at the stochastics, still going down, but the CCI is going down and oversold. We have a little bit of a mix here because the CCI is showing more oversold than the stochastics. So I think we'll flounder around that support level Monday and Tuesday before we start to pick up some steam on the upside for you option traders out there you might take a look at vix calls going out to september if we close on monday with a bullish or a pivot point here that would be a good entry point for those call buyers out there in the option world so that is the vix again i'm keeping my targets in place i could get rid of this one i was just duplicating that from last week so i'm going to erase that just to clean up the chart a bit leaving this one in place don't be surprised if you see that fix go up to 22, 23. If it does so, it could shoot up like a rocket, just like it did back here in mid-May. So that's the VIX. If we look at the IWM, which is the Russell 2000 ETF, it hit my targets here again. I didn't get crazy. I just drew this diagonal line here. We surpassed that and then pulled back yesterday. We could see a little bit of an uptick next week. Let me get rid of this line right here. But I think we're going to go up to test that resistance, which is going to be the high from this week. And then I think we're going to pull back. I don't see dramatic moves happening here at all. I see just more or less a hung market where it's trying to go higher. But guess what? The short sellers come in and start putting pressure. And you see the end of today's trading session, 
we saw some short covering towards the end of the day, and that didn't surprise me because a lot of folks don't really want to have a position over the weekend. But notice this drop in volume as the market rallied a little bit today here. That drop in volume tells us that the buyers are really not that motivated. And the stochastics cross with the sell signal. We have a negative divergence forming here on the CCI. That all tells us watch out below. But again, I am expecting just a little bit of a rally and a little bit of a pullback. Pretty much a nothing burger for next week on IWM. Taking a look at the Qs right here. Again, the target was hit. I'll zoom in just a little bit more. You can see the end of that red line. It's hard to see when it's buried in this green candle here. But last Friday was here. And we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today. This perfect upward target right there. We hit the target yesterday. And we have a drop in volume on this higher level. So for the Qs, I do believe that we are going to hold this resistance line right here. See that resistance right there around 342? And I think we're going to start to drift back. Again, nothing major. I just think we're going to be in a trading range for a little while. You see the oscillators down here starting to hinge. The stochastics is more or less flatlined at the top right here. That is considered to be a negative divergence, by the way, because we have a slight drop on the highs on the stochastics while we have higher highs on the price action. So we still have a gap below the market. Right there at 322.67, I think that will ultimately fill. But right now, just a mild drift off from the highs with a price target on the Qs next week, 336.73 on the Qs. Well, thank you very much for following this market report. I really appreciate that. Stay tuned. Please like, share, even comment. And we'll be happy to do our best to respond to some of those comments. I don't spend a whole lot of time in the comment box, but I do try to check in every now and then. Thank you so much for your contribution and the value that you do add to this channel. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. So long.